FCC Hazleton's union employees were out in Morgantown today holding an informational picket on the current staffing conditions within the facility. 12 News' Jalen Lamp was there today and has more on the story. FCC Hazleton's Union Local 420 American Federation of Government Employees staged an informational picket in Morgantown today to bring awareness to the public of the facility's severe staffing shortage. Members of the union met outside of the Exxon off I-68's exit 7 from 8 in the morning until 5 in the evening. I mean, if you can imagine being mandated four to five times a week, you come in to do your eight hours and you're stuck to do an additional eight, your family life starts to deteriorate. There's actually studies on being forced overtime. It's almost like being a pair of drunk on the road. Your, your, your situation, you start to deteriorate. And again, uh, being stuck at work for 16 straight hours, five days a week, it ain't good on your family life. It ain't good in the community. You're, you're almost intoxicated, you're impaired. How can you perform your job when you're making officers do this every single day? Joe Rojas, union president of FCC Coleman in Sumter County, Florida, traveled to Morgantown on Friday to stand in solidarity with FCC Hazleton. Rojas shared his experience dealing with similar employment issues at FCC Coleman with over 7,000 people imprisoned in the facility. We've had assaults, we had uh, lockdowns, uh, inmate on inmate crime. It's uh, like on Father's Day, we had we were so short, we had to lock everything down, the whole institution down. We have over 8,500 inmates, no, no Father's Day visits. Of course, when you lock it down, the anxiety goes up, which causes anger. And the first people they take it out on is our officers, our GS5, GS6 officers. Local 420 American Federation of Government Employees is encouraging the public to reach out congressionally and get state senators involved in the change needed for better working conditions. You can learn more about the informational strike on our website, WBOY.com. Reporting from Morgantown, I'm Jalen Lamp with 12 News.